Welcome to Holy Week. My name is Mark Fowler. I'm the lead pastor at First United Methodist Church in Madison, Wisconsin. This week, Monday through Saturday, we will follow the journey from Palm Sunday to Easter by readings which capture the events of each day. We are blessed by six colleagues who join us and present the readings as we move through the week. Paul Melrose, who is the assisting pastor for pastoral care, will begin on Monday. Amanda Stein, the pastor at Bashford United Methodist Church. Father Jonathan Greaser, the rector at Grace Episcopal Church. Nancy Childress, a retired member of the Virginia Annual Conference of the United Methodist Church. Jim Scorgi, a retired member of the Northern Illinois Conference of the United Methodist Church, and the Reverend Tina Lang, who is the Executive Associate Pastor here at First United Methodist Church, all will read to us one each day. The readings will be archived, so you might visit them anytime at fumc.org. We hope they accompany your journey with blessing and with grace. I would also like to thank Ross Cowing and the Quadrilateral, who have gathered together to provide the music for our journey through this Holy Week, and Holly Johnson, who does the audiovisual work for us and has helped us to move from sanctuary worship to online worship and has blessed us with that talent. I would also like to invite you to be with us for worship on Monday, Thursday, as well as Good Friday. All of our worship is different this year because it is online and is designed to be online. Bishop Hee Soo Jung has given permission that we celebrate communion online. And so as you prepare for Holy Thursday and that worship service, I would invite you to gather several things and have them present with you as you join the service online. The elements of communion, bread and cup, bread and wine, fermented or non-fermented, which is the tradition of the Methodist Church. And also, I would invite you to have a basin of water or a bowl of water and a towel. Bread and wine, basin and towel. Blessings to you in this holy week. Amen. Good morning. I'm Reverend Paul Melrose, pastor of pastoral care at First United Methodist Church in Madison. We begin our series of readings as we travel the Passion of Holy Week with our Lord, reading from Luke's Gospel. This morning's selection is Jesus in the Temple, reading from the Gospel of Luke, portions of chapters 19 through 21. Will you listen for the word of God? As he came near and saw the city, he wept over it, saying, If you, even you, had only recognized on this day the things that were made for peace, but now they are hidden from your eyes. Indeed, the days will come upon you when your enemies will set up ramparts around you and surround you and hem you in on every side. They will crush you to the ground, you and your children within you, and they will not leave within you one stone upon another, because you did not recognize the time of your visitation from God. Then he entered the temple and began to drive out those who were selling things there. And he said, It is written, My house shall be a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of robbers. Every day he was teaching in the temple. The chief priests, the scribes, and the leaders of the people kept looking for a way to kill him. But they did not find anything they could do, for all the people were spellbound by what they heard. One day, as he was teaching the people in the temple and telling the good news, the chief priests and the scribes came with the elders and said to him, Tell us, by what authority are you doing these things? Who is it who gave you this authority? He answered them, I will also ask you a question and you tell me. 
Did the baptism of John come from heaven, or was it of human origin? They discussed it with one another, saying, If we say from heaven, he will say, Why did you not believe him? But if we say of human origin, all the people will stone us, for they are convinced that John was a prophet. So they answered that they did not know where it came from. Then Jesus said to them, Neither will I tell you by what authority I am doing these things. Every day he was teaching in the temple, and at night he would go out and spend the night on the Mount of Olives, as it was called. And all the people would get up early in the morning to listen to him in the temple. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Almighty God, your name is glorified even in the anguish of your son's death. Grant us the courage to receive your anointed servant who embodies a wisdom and love that is foolishness to the world. Empower us in witness so that all may recognize 
in the scandal of the cross, the mystery of reconciliation. Creator of the universe, you made the world in beauty and restore all things in glory through the victory of Jesus Christ. We pray that wherever your image is still disfigured by poverty, sickness, selfishness, war, and greed, the new creation in Jesus Christ may appear in justice, love, and peace. To the glory of your holy name. Amen. Thanks for joining us today as we begin this journey of Holy Week. You're invited to tune in throughout the week for further readings from the Passion Story from the Gospel of Luke. Blessings to you this day.